Zambians Premier Analysis show is what you tuned into. So let's get dissecting Lusaka Dynamos versus Buildcon. So everyone was wondering what kind of team will Buildcon actually bring to the capital city for battle against Lusaka Dynamos. Let's get into the two selections, shall we? So for Patrick Peary and his opposite number, they wanted points. So Buildcon played 4-3-3 an attacking formation. And the Buildcon coach last time out was actually saying, I need a striker. He needed one. And maybe after seeing that result, new near, perhaps you can understand what he meant. Then for Lusaka Dynamos, they played the Diamond 442 formation. But one striking thing is that Lee Adi uh, was actually changed in terms of deployment. He was moved from the central defensive uh, position where Gift uh, Sakuaha actually came in. And we saw him playing left back. <clears throat> At some point, it looked like they wanted to play three at the back until it looked like four at the back because uh, that would give them balance. So, diamond formation for Lusaka Dynamos. Up front now, Kletas Chama, instead of wide left, up front, second striker or twin striker, call it what, what you may. But that was the team that Patrick Peary chose against uh, uh, Lusaka Dynamos, uh, 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 against uh, Butecon rather. Yeah, uh, well, I think looking at the way the team has been set, for me, uh, having played for Lusaka Dynamos, I think that is uh, somehow trying to stick to the, to the way Lusaka Dynamo has to play. Because four, I four, can two. tell you, yeah, I can tell you uh, most people know Lusaka Dynamos for being able to possess the ball, being able to distribute the ball throughout, and that's the kind of football that we play. So I think the way they, 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 they position the team, I think for me, looks okay. And also the fact that we have one lone striker and a second striker with another midfielder just below them in Emmanuel Havasimbi, I think that actually fits for a Osaka Dynamo kind of team. All right, so let's have a look at the effects of both formations. Now, interestingly, when you choose a formation, apparently right there you've chosen what your strengths and weaknesses shall be. Let's look at what that one meant. So now, here's one sal salient issue that I think we need to take stock of. Godfrey Vanga playing defensive midfield at the base of that diamond is up against Musa and Jean Fidel Bosanjo in those central areas. Now, if you're playing a team that plays 4-3-3, beware, don't be conned. They want to play in the middle. They will not put an extra attacking midfielder in the same line and not want to use it. And they used it. But look at the average position now. The team that play out from the back, they do not hoof the ball forward. They do not panic. They do not even make a 40-meter pass, Dennis. That's how complicated this team is. And Esuman, the captain there for Buildcon, wow. The calmness and composure of that team, it's, 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 it's out of this world. Out of this world, Dennis. Yeah, I was watching. Uh, I was watching the. I don't know if he's a young man or he's. No, I think I'm sure. I, I, think, I think he's a he's, veteran he's like old. you. Yeah, okay. not not like me. me I'm too old. <laughs> he's very very odd. Very very calm. When the ball comes to him, he knows where to get the ball, where to, where to take the ball, when to pass and when not to pass, when to control and when not to control. It's just, I'm sure. You are very experienced. Yeah. You don't need to. to anyway, much. so that's a, a, a very solid team. They know how to play out from the back. Very composed. And so if you want to profit from acres of space where you now want to start winning duos and whatnot, probably won't happen. Let's look at uh, the shape for build code, especially in defense. And perhaps to explain why Patrick Peary once again managed to get a point. But... Sadly, for the first time this season, they failed to score. So here's the average shape for Buildcon. Look at the sea of bodies that get behind the ball. Immediately, they lose it. Immediately, they lose the ball. They go 4-1-4-1. That 4-3-3 changes into a 4-1-4-1. And look at that. 1v1 within so far on the right. Habasimbi has been sacked into... That 1v1 with Isaac is in the, just on the edge of the box. Kletas Chama 
is looking for any little amount of space for him to play. It's not coming. Mungalu there is 1v1 with Moro. And Trezo, Kanyinda as well. Everyone is struggling for space. And this is a Lusaika Dynamo team that with technicians like Kletas Chamachota, they need space to get past one or two players, create some space and bring in their teammates into play, Freeman. Yeah, uh, well, looking at the caliber of a player like Kletas, I think um, I've been watching him recently and he seems to be just getting to pick up. I, for me, I think this, since this is the first time that these guys are playing together, I think they're trying to come together and be able to play well. I, I, I want to ask this question, gentlemen. By the end of that match, Kletas Chamachota had played left wing, right wing, attacking midfielder, second striker, and even striker. All the attacking positions. But look at that defensive organization. They were not getting anything. You know, I think one of the things that matters the most, I think, for a system like that one is also the, the top man. After watching uh, Mungalu, actually, the last three games, even the first game that he scored, for me, uh, he hasn't been too impressive as a, as a striker because uh, a striker is supposed to be a bit more forceful than he is and he likes going in the wing. If you look at his position, you find that he's usually found in the wing instead of being on the centre there and trying to bulldoze there. He's not finding himself between the two defenders and for me, that one is creating a weakness on his part. No, but uh, I mean, it's, it's not coming. I mean, it's shut. There's no space to pass. And now, for change, the Saka Dynamos ha actually need to learn and say, okay, gift Sakwaha, pass the ball to Ngoi. Look for where Ochaya is. We need to go forward slowly because once we hoof the ball forward, one long punt, we've lost the ball and they are coming again. I don't know. Uh, for me, I wanted to, 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 to speak on uh, the uh, creators. I've watched Kretas for, I don't know for how long. He, he was playing for... Nchanga, Nchanga Power. Yeah. The time that he played for Nchanga, that boy was small like this. The other time I even, I called him, I, I said, are you sure you want to play for the soccer dynamo? He said, coach, what can I do? I want money. I said, are you sure? Big man. I said, are you sure? He said, yes, coach. So you play for all five I don't positions. Know. I don't know whether it's money or because that that boy is exceptional. You put him here, he will perform for you. You put him anywhere, he will play. Oh, okay. Yeah, but on, on, on my part, really, uh, I don't know if it's because the, my bias is on the striker, but for me, I think that is where <laughs> the lacking is. No, but uh, again, this is your playmaker ends up playing. All five attacking exactly. positions. Do you know why there is what the reason is there? The reason is if you have very clever midfielders, Emmanuel Habasimbi is very clever. If you look at Kletas, he's very clever. You need a striker that knows to position himself. You can see how he's doing, uh, how he's playing there. The last few games, he has been looking like he's playing uh, a game where there are two, remember, two strikers. Remember young man, the, the, that, that, the, the one I did. Who played uh, <laughs> which team? Forest. Papa, you went there. <laughs> of course, those are those, are the, the things, those, are, those are the things that we are, yeah, we are, that's what we are talking want. about. We need we to want someone okay. Okay. due to popular yeah. demand, gentlemen. Hold it. Let's talk about Kope Mungalu, shall we? Now, Mungalu's positioning and match play. Let's discuss this one. It looks like it's going to be a source of problems. Here's my assessment. Now, here's what Buildcom does, and I don't know if you're still going to blame him after this little account. So, you, two, you see the two central defenders. You see Esuman, the captain, he's in the middle of the pyramid, in transition, by the way. And then you've got Trezor there, who's in a 1v1 situation with the number two, or the jersey number 20, or the person playing right back for Butecon there. Then, look at where the war goes. Remember what we're saying, that it was 2v1 in the central areas. Because Bitcoin actually wanted to use that space in the central areas. So Havasimbi, the technician, has to go back and mark and help Godfrey Chibanga. Or else you're going to concede goals. That explains his average position. They are chasing and vacating his attacking position. 
Kletas Chamachota, second striker, you are playing in the central area, go back as well. Go and mark and try to destabilize them and get some parity because essentially this Butcon team is winning the 1v1s. And look at who they have on the right. Jonas Sakuaha. You've got uh, uh, Mesha there in the central area and wide left there. It's almost 1v1. But all that is happening because number one, Butcom are not playing long. So they're not giving you that luxury of walking back and hoping that you get the ball back in transition without you participating in winning the ball. Gentlemen, let's be fair to Kope Mungal. Where is the space to run to? He can only run but wide because look at the second striker. Look at the attacking midfielder Freeman. You it's gotta be fair to the you man know, there. You know, you know one thing. Let me tell you. The thing is the most important thing that matters in this point is the striker understanding what to do in what system you're using. Hmm. There's a system where there is a lone striker and that system does not need him to be running about, but it needs him to be just creating little space and and collecting but the ball, leaving support. it for the support exactly. and joining and then in. The support, look, the support from uh, Emmanuel Abasimbi is usually very good. Emmanuel Abasimbi is fast and then so is uh, Kletas. Those guys are very clever. So that is why we need a striker who's sharp. He's able to position himself. That's why they use him as a lone striker. But if you're a lone striker, you're running away from the central position, you're not holding the ball very well, then there's nothing you're going to get. But I've got a huge feeling Patrick Piri, Muhammad Fatih, and everybody on that technical bench may not agree with you, Freeman. Here's how. So, they bring in a duvelo period to actually come in. Let's look at the twin striker effect. A duvelo period comes in. So, we bring in a second striker to do what you are explaining right now. So, duvelo period comes in. Guess who he has for company? The defensive midfielder says, I'm on duty in this area and nobody runs around. Kope Mungalu still needs to run there because apparently there's no space for Lusaka Dynamos to play out from the back and I don't know if they have the type of players who can get themselves out of high pressure situations so alas now you start playing long when it's transition when build compress you you start playing long and Kope Mungalu is making the same runs again Dube Piri is busy trying to stop the central Defensive midfielder for Butcom for playing. Gentlemen, this was checkmate. This uh, was checkmate all day long, Dennis. You know, uh, one thing that I can say on this one is I will give you uh, an example of what happened when uh, Lusaka Dynamo was played in Kwasi. Uh, Mungalu never won, not even one ball that came on top. Uh -huh. Not even one ball. He, he kept on falling. The guy jumps over him, he's falling. So why, and then why the play long? Thing, why play long? You, know you are also thing, a striker. I'm saying, I'm saying and system. I remember you as a number nine. So exactly. It's why a play long it's if you're not winning? That matters. You see, the second time that do, uh, developed PD had to come in, it means that you're playing twin strikers. And in twin strikers, the ball can come from behind onto the strikers. And then maybe the other striker can actually pick up the ball. That's the way it works. But for the lone striker, the one they had initially, it means that the ball has to pass through what? The midfield. Hmm. 